Patty Christensen, hand CRPS lady. Um, I've been doing some videos here about the nutrition stuff. And what really set this off for me is in the evening when I'm doing admin work, yeah, I gotta figure out how to be more active when I have all these different things to do. Um, but in the evening when I'm doing admin work or whatever, I'll have noise in the background. Maybe it's a, you know, Amazon TV show, whatever. Um, but lots of times it's just podcast, I guess you call them, you know, the YouTubes running through my phone. And there was this YouTube that for whatever reason, YouTube said, Hey, listen to this. And I was like, well, I got nothing better to do. Right. While I'm doing this admin. And it was a man, a doctor man that was reviewing another video. And that other video, I think his name is Tucker Carlson, you know, one of those kind of politically kind of people. I don't do politics. So I don't know. But anyway, he's interviewing this doctor. I'm pretty sure it's a doctor. And they're talking about basically the country going through what I'm going through, where, you know, there's this weight gain and this, that, and the other. I got to try to find that original because the one I was watching was some guy reviewing, right? So I'm going to try to find the original. And if I can figure out how, I'll put it in the comments here, you know, all this tech stuff that I'm not very good at. But it, he was talking about how, um, how fat we've all gotten, right? Because I love watching, you know, I'm an 80s, 80s is when I came of age, everything 80s is cool or whatever. So if an old 80s TV show or movie shows up on, on the Amazons, um, then you know I'm going to be watching it, right? And, and you look at those and we were all, what today we would probably call anorexic, right? We were just all super, super healthy. And so it's like, what has happened? And then he was giving out st stats, I'll screw them up, but he was giving out stats of, yeah, what has happened to adult obesity, but more importantly, child obesity. What's happened with this diabetes thing? And I tell you, this is freaking me out because I am on one more nugget up of the A1C and I'm pre-diabetic. So it's like, no, we, we gotta change all this. Um, this has got to change. But and he was talking about it with the kids too and the percentages. Oh, I've got to find this thing because I'm just sitting there going, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? They were talking about the Ozempic thing. Um, you know, pills to lose weight never work. I'm old enough to remember the whole Fen Fen thing, right? But it, it was interesting because he was talking about how this Ozempic is made by somebody in some foreign country. It's not a U.S. Uh, drug manufacturer. And that the country where they make it, they're not even allowed to sell it because, you know, this crap, let's admit it, this crap's toxic, but sometimes you need a little toxic to get better. Sometimes you don't. Anyway, it was a discussion on that, but it spilled into all of this health stuff. So I'm telling you, this is, this is really, really bugging me. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go walking. And I live in Utah. It's a drunk season. And they're like, nah. Think again, sister. It's going to be rain, snow, slush, wind, hail, whatever today. And so I was like, great, great. So I'm just going to walk around the house or, or something like that. I will not walk around Costco because that's too tempting. Um, but anyway, so I, I, I really need to find that article. I mean, that podcast, YouTubes, whatever we call when the two people are the interviewee kind of stuff. Find that original one. And if I can find it, I'll put the link here and down here in show notes or whatever we call this stuff, um, because I was just like, "Are you kidding?" And these are this is a doctor, so he has no dog in this fight of you know trying to scare people or whatever. He was just giving the stats, and it was scary. So here's the thing: um, I've kind of beat this horse. Uh, oh, I gotta be careful using old people analogies because apparently that freaks out the young people. Ignore that if you're under the age of 40. It's a saying that was popular for us Gen X and baby boomers. But anyway, I've kind of exhausted this topic. But what I would really like is people to tell me what works for them. What do you do to keep your health, your fitness, your weight in check? Let's have a little bit of a discussion about it because what you know works for one person may not work for another and maybe we need you know six different things but i would love to hear people's thoughts about um what works for them in this whole fight against the uh, american obesity epidemic
Thanks.